we talked about those young dudes and great opportunity and whatnot. And when I first f- had my conceptual rankings put together, we'll say I had Najee, I think at three. Uh, I think you did too. Yeah. And I've dropped him to five now behind Mixon. Um, and he has ended up as our running back six. You have him at seven. Um, you know, it's just a matter of the quarterback situation, really. Uh, he is currently going eighth, ninth overall. His ADP is 8.8. So, you know, second half of the first round, but early first, early, early middle first round. Um, yeah, it's pretty much pretty much right where he was going last year, too. Which which is interesting. He finishes RB four last year. So. I don't think he's bad there. I mean, he's going to have less catches just because Big Ben and his noodle arm aren't there. So, you know, uh, Pickett and Trubisky are going to still take their shots on third down and not just check it down as much as Ben right. was. But Najee Harris is a bona fide workhorse. There is no question about. Samaj JP Ryan being in on third down. Like there is, <laughs> there is none of that. Like Najee Harris is going to have every single carry that he can be upright for physically. Like, yeah, that, that's, that's what the deal is going to be. It's just going to not always be a pretty offense in Pittsburgh, which hurts because uh, I did live in Pennsylvania for a time near Pittsburgh. Uh, and I love the Steelers, but I just, I want, I want, I want to draft Najee next year. Like once the QB situation is solidified, there's not going to be a a rumor, you know, throughout the season. And if you haven't listened to, if you haven't purchased the Sacco sheet yet, you should. uh, And hear our analysis of these quarterbacks in Pittsburgh, because I think that there's a pretty clear transitionary time, or at least a period in their schedule that is ripe for transition from uh, Trubisky to Pickett. But I just, I don't know what that's going to do to Najee. There's going to be some inconsistency and it may not always be pretty. Even with all that usage, this is strictly a we don't like their offense that much, and so you just have to downgrade him because you have to. But like, period. We like basically all the offenses more. We like Indianapolis's offense more. Christian McCaffrey's just a beast. He's almost offense proof. Dalvin Cook, way better offense. Joe Mixon, way better offense. He Najee was was crazy last year. He was only one of two players with over 300 rushing attempts, uh, only behind Jonathan Taylor. He was only one of four guys to have over 1,200 rushing yards. He had so many targets that he had the most touches in football when you combine the catches with the rushing yards. And now Trubisky is going to theoretically torpedo him unless Trubisky... Sh- is actually talented where he was taken in the draft at number two overall. But I would just let somebody else deal with it because I I just don't think they're going to score that many points. I can see them playing ball control, letting their defense win them games and just play messy games. Right. And that's all those check downs from Big Ben to Najee. I just there's just not going to be as many of them. There, there just, there just won't be. No, I think half of those evaporate and then what's left. And the box will be stacked until either Peckett or Trub- Pickett or Trubisky can beat the box. And now he's not going to have anywhere to run. And it's just, again, it's just, and the, and the Steelers offensive line isn't that good, which is why Ben was was throwing the ball in one second last year. And exclusively like, out of the shotgun position. Right. So yeah, the, there's just a bunch of red flags here for us. That's not to say Najee can't finish his RB1. I, the, the, the touches might be there again. There's but, a world where he does. There is a world where Trubisky has learned and improved and is now a you know decent NFL quarterback and can get through the picket learning season and picket stays on the bench. And if that happens, yeah, 
Najee can f- absolutely finish as running back one overall. It's just in the range of outcomes or the what I'm a if I'm a betting man, I'm not putting my my money on that. Yeah, and those that brutal workload, and uh, you could say the same thing for Jonathan Taylor having that many touches. There's only one guy that's that's really been able to sustain continued success with that many touches is Derek Henry, who finally got hurt last year. So that uh, that big a workload is somewhat concerning, just just from my perspective. 